Okay, so hopefully if all my plan worked, uh, we're out here in my bee yard. We're in the middle of our beekeeping class at uh, FCR. And I just wanted to go over, no beekeeping class would be complete without a trip to the hive. Uh, so I wanted to show you guys the inside of a beehive real quick. Uh, generally, you would spend a lot more time, but due to time constraints, of course, uh, I got my smoker lit already. If you're interested in seeing how that's done, uh, I do have another video of that here on the YouTube channel as well. Um, so, for as far as tools go, you're going to want to have a hive tool. It looks just like a little pry bar. And it's going to be used to manipulate the frames and things like that. And most importantly, you're going to want to have a smoker with some nice cool smoke here. Uh, you don't want to be burning the bees with hot smoke and things like that. Uh, the purpose of the smoke is twofold. Basically, it masks their communication pheromones. They're not easily able to communicate with each other and formulate any kind of defense. Uh, the other thing is, when bees think that there may be a fire, they go into the hive and start consuming some honey uh, in preparation in case they may need to evacuate. Uh, so beekeepers have always uh, used smoke to get their bees to calm down, so to speak. And we're going to do the same thing here. Uh, so you just give them a couple puffs in the entrance to let them know that you're coming. Uh, and then you're going to lift off the top of the lid here gently if you can. And we're going to set that off to the side. This is the inner cover here. We're going to go ahead and let them know that we are coming in through the top. You don't want to smoke them out too much. Uh, you don't want them to actually evacuate. But uh, we do want them to be able to be managed effectively here. And as you can tell it's kind of sticky. Uh, working with bees is a very sticky proposition due to this stuff here called propolis. Uh, it's what they use to seal their hives. They gather it from tree resins and things like that. Uh, and it's kind of like a caulking for the bees. So we'll also set this, uh, we'll set this here close to the entrance. And here we have the inside of the beehive, 10 frames. What we're gonna do here first is remove the outer frame to make room for ourselves to work here. It has been a little while since uh, We've opened this hive. Things are a little sticky. It'll go much smoother once we get this first one out. The idea is to be very calm, very gentle. And as you can see, they will remain calm as well. Okay, so we have the first frame out. We've got a little bit of nectar here on the outside frame. Pretty normal. There's some nectar. They're processing this into honey. Uh, these are bees that are processing. So uh, we'll set this off to the side here. All right, now we have a frame out. We have a little room to work. We're basically just going to give a quick checkup on this hive and see how everything's coming, what they've got, the general status of the hive. Generally, want to do this every seven to ten days during the season. This one's just empty wax. A little bit of nectar in there. Again, some nectar. And you just follow through. Come on down. Pry the two frames loose with your tool. Pull that next frame out. This one's full of honey. You can see they're farther along. The deeper we get into the hive, Same on this side. That is actually larva. So those are the bees that are getting ready to go into their metamorphosis to become adult bees. So they're being fed and groomed in their journey to adulthood. Excellent. Moving on forward here. We're going to see if we can find the queen for you. This is capped brood. This is the next stage of their development. Perfect example. Uh, they're in their cocoon. And in a few days, they will be emerging from those as adult bees. There's a mixture of some getting ready to be capped. So these are probably freshly capped. We can tell this hive's doing good because they have 
different stages of bees going. They have some stores in here. Everything looks uh, pretty good. So we'll move on into the middle frame here. Again, wow, a very full frame, full frame. The bees waiting to come out on both sides. I believe a frame of this size will hold about 5,000 uh, cells. So that'll give you an idea of how many bees are about to be born in the next few days from this colony. This frame is a little oddly shaped, which we may at some point decide to help them remedy that. Makes it difficult for us to manage. Another frame of capped brood. The population of this hive is about to get large. Looks very good. Everything looks amazing in here. Generally, you're gonna find the queen in the middle of the box at the heart of the nest. In this case, it looks like maybe due to their size constraints that they're kind of shifting it off to the side a little here. Yeah. So in here we have eggs. I would expect to maybe see the queen around here somewhere. If you see eggs, the queen has been there within the last three days because there are only eggs for three days. Again, some eggs and things here. No sign of the queen just yet. Looking good though. Okay, down to frame number eight here. It is unusual to see a queen out this far, but not impossible. I may have just overlooked her. But she's generally not gonna be where there's honey or where there's capped bees because her job is finished in that area. There she is. Right there in the middle of the frame. That's the queen bee of this hive. She's looking for a new place to lay some eggs. Uh, she definitely does not like to be in the light. So we're gonna get her back in there. Let her finish her duties. On this particular hive, due to time constraints, there's not really much reason for us to go forth into the last couple frames. They're going to be just honey. Um, but that's it. That's basically inspecting a beehive from start to finish. Uh, we'll cap this back up, give them a little smoke, say goodnight, and uh, we'll come back and see them again in about a week. Uh, so thanks for joining me out here. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.